Blood groups Agglutinogens and agglutinins Agglutinogens refer to the antigens present on the cell membrane of RBCs. A variety of antigens are present on the cell membrane, but only a few of them are of practical significance. Agglutinins refer to the antibodies against the agglutinogens. These are present in the plasma. Agglutination of RBCs can be caused by the antigens present on their cell membranes in the presence of suitable agglutinins. That is why these antigens are called agglutinogens. Blood grouping system. Depending upon the type of agglutinogen present or absent on the red cell membranes, various blood grouping systems are known which can be classified as major blood systems, which are based on the presence of agglutinogens which are widely prevalent in the population and are known to cause worse transfusion reactions. These include the classical ABO blood grouping system and the RH blood grouping system. Minor blood group system are based on the presence of agglutinogens which are found only in small proportion of the population and occasionally produce mild transfusion reactions. These include MNN blood grouping and the P blood group system. Landsteiner Law Karl Landsteiner in 1900s framed a law in relation to agglutinogens and agglutinins which states that if an agglutinogen is present on the red cell membrane of an individual, the corresponding agglutinin must be absent in the plasma. If an agglutinogen is absent from the cell membrane of RBCs of an individual, the corresponding agglutinin must be present in the plasma. It is important to note that the Landsteiner law is applicable to ABO blood group system only. The law is not applicable to other blood group systems because there are no naturally occurring agglutinins in these systems. Classical ABO blood grouping system A and B agglutinogens The classical ABO blood grouping system is based on the presence of A and B agglutinogens on the cell membranes of RBCs. A and B agglutinogens are complex oligosaccharides differing in their terminal sugars. The A and B antigens present on the membrane of RBCs are also present in many other tissues like salivary glands, pancreas, kidney, liver, lungs, and testis, and also in the body fluids like saliva, semen, and amniotic fluid. The antigens on RBC's membrane are glycolipids while in the tissue and body fluids they are soluble glycoproteins. Anti-A and anti-B agglutinins Anti-A agglutinin and anti-B agglutinin refer to the antibody that is, which reacts with or acts on the antigen A and antigen B respectively. There are two types of alpha agglutinins, the alpha-1 and alpha proper. The alpha and beta agglutinins are globulins of IgM type and cannot cross the placenta. The alpha and beta agglutinins act best at low temperature and are therefore also called as cold antibodies. Types of ABO blood groups Depending upon the presence or absence of A and B agglutinogens and alpha and beta agglutinins, there are four types of blood groups. Blood group A is characterized by presence of A agglutinogen and absence of B agglutinogen in the cell membrane of RBCs, presence of anti-B agglutinin and absence of anti-A agglutinin from the plasma. Blood group B is characterized by presence of B agglutinogen and absence of A agglutinogen on the cell membrane of RBCs and presence of anti-A agglutinin and absence of anti-B agglutinin from the plasma. Blood group AB is characterized by presence of both A and B agglutinogens on the cell membrane of RBCs and absence of both anti-A and anti-B agglutinins from the plasma. Blood group O is characterized by absence of both A and B agglutinogens on the cell membrane of RBCs and presence of both anti-A and anti-B agglutinins in the plasma. Population distribution of ABO blood groups Inheritance of ABO blood groups 
Agglutinogens A and B or the non-antigenic substances which determine the blood groups are genetically inherited as Mendelian dominant in the classical Mendelian pattern. The ABO phenotypes and possible genotypes are as follows in the table below. Inheritance of classical ABO blood grouping depends upon three genes, A, B, and O. The blood group of offspring depends on two genes which are inherited from each parent. The possible blood groups of the offspring are shown in the table below. Agglutinogens A and B first appear in the sixth week of life. Their concentration at birth is one-fifth of adult level and it progressively rises during puberty and adolescence. Anti-A or alpha and anti-B or beta agglutinins are absent at birth but they appear 10 to 15 days after birth and reach a maximum concentration by the age of 10 years. Antigens very similar to A and B antigens are commonly present in the intestinal bacteria and food. When the newborn is exposed to these antigens, these are absorbed into the blood and stimulate the formation of antibodies against the antigens. Determination of ABO blood groups The ABO blood group of an individual can be determined by mixing one drop of suspension of the red cells, which is an isotonic saline, with a drop each of antiserum A containing the alpha agglutinins and antiserum B containing the beta agglutinins separately on a glass slide. The antiserum A will cause agglutination or clumping of RBCs having A antigens and antiserum B will cause agglutination of RBCs having the B antigens. The blood group of the individual will be shown by the presence of agglutination with one, both or none of the sera. Rhesus blood grouping system RH antigens the antigens responsible for this blood grouping system are called the Rh antigens or Rh agglutinogens or Rh factor because these were first discovered in the RBCs of rhesus monkeys. Based on the presence of Rh antigens, two types of blood groups are described, Rh positive blood group and Rh negative blood group. The Rh antigens were discovered by Land Steiner and Weiner in 1940. They noticed that when RBCs of rhesus monkeys were injected into a rabbit, antibodies were formed against these RBCs. When such rabbit serum was tested against human red cells, agglutination occurred in 85% of the cases. That is, these persons' RBCs contained antigen which reacted with the antibodies formed against the rhesus monkey RBCs. They labeled this antigen as RH antigens and such persons as RH positive. The remaining 15% were labeled as Rh negative. Three types of Rh antigens, that is, C, D, and E, have been recognized. However, D antigen is the commonest and produces worse transfusion reactions. Therefore, for all practical purposes, the term Rh antigen refers to D antigen. Rh antigens are integral membrane proteins. An important point to be noted here is that Rh agglutinogen has not been detected in other tissues and body fluids like the A and B agglutinogens. Rh antibodies There are no natural antibodies of Rh antigens while in ABO system of blood grouping, alpha or beta antibodies are always present naturally if the appropriate antigen is absent. Rh antibodies, also called anti-D antibodies, are produced only when an Rh negative individual is transfused with Rh positive blood or when an Rh negative mother gives birth to an Rh positive baby. Rh antibodies are IgG type and can cross the placenta. Since these react best at body temperature, they are called warm antibodies. Once produced, Rh antibodies persist in the blood for years and can produce serious reactions during the second transfusion. Inheritance of Rh antigens The Rh antigen is inherited as dominant gene D. When gene D is absent from the chromosome, its place is occupied by the alternate form called small d. Rh gene is inherited from both the father and the mother. Rh positive individual may have two genotypes, two capital Ds, which is homozygous, or one capital D and one small d, which is heterozygous, of 85% Rh positive individuals. 
about 35% have both capital D genotype and 50% have capital D and small d genotype. The genotype of Rh negative individual is both small d's. Therefore, the genotype of offspring will be both capital D when the gene D is carried by both sperm and ovum, capital D and small d when one gamete carries the capital D and the other small d, capital D and small d when both the gametes carry gene D, which is in small case. Inheritance of Rh antigen is summarized. Hemolytic disease of newborn. Hemolytic disease of newborn occurs as a result of incompatibility of Rh blood groups between the mother and the fetus. Mechanism of hemolytic disease of newborn in Rh incompatibility. Mechanism of development of hemolytic disease of newborn can be described under the following steps. Entrance of Rh positive fetal RBCs into negative mother circulation during first pregnancy. At the time of delivery, the fetal RBCs enter maternal circulation because of severance of umbilical cord. Before delivery, usually, the fetal and maternal circulation do not mix. Since the Rh-positive RBCs enter maternal circulation during delivery, so the first child is usually normal. Production of Rh antibodies in mother During postpartum period, that is within a month after the delivery, the mother develops Rh antibodies in her blood. As mentioned earlier, the Rh antibodies are of IgG type and are able to cross the placental barrier. Once formed, the Rh antibodies persist for a long period in the mother's blood. Rh incompatibility reaction during second pregnancy. When the Rh negative mother in the second pregnancy also bears an Rh positive child, the Rh antibodies present in the mother's blood enter the fetal circulation by crossing the placental barrier and cause agglutination of fetal RBCs leading to hemolytic disease of newborn. Manifestations of the hemolytic disease of newborn Depending upon the severity, the hemolytic disease of newborn may manifest as erythroblastosis fetalis, icterus gravis neonatorum, kernicterus, and hydrops fetalis. Erythroblastosis fetalis is characterized by erythroblastosis, that is, appearance of large number of erythroblasts in the peripheral blood. Anemia occurs due to excessive hemolysis of RBCs by Rh antibodies. Infants may even die of severe anemia. Icterus gravis neonatorum. Jaundice may occur within the first 24 hours of birth due to excessive formation of bilirubin as a result of excessive hemolysis of RBCs. Liver and spleen are enlarged. Kernicterus. It is a neurological syndrome occurring in newborns with severe hemolysis. The excessive bilirubin formed may enter the brain tissue as the blood-brain barrier is not well developed in infants and cause damage. The bilirubin mostly affects the basal ganglia, producing disturbance of motor activities. It usually develops when serum bilirubin levels exceeds 18 mg per deciliter. Hydrops fetalis, that is, the fetus is grossly edematous. It occurs when hemolysis is very severe. Usually, there occurs intrauterine death of the fetus or if born prematurely or even at term, the infant dies within a few hours. Prevention and Treatment Prevention of Hemolytic Disease of Newborn The hemolytic disease in the newborn during second pregnancy can be prevented by injecting a single dose of Rh antibodies in the form of Rh immunoglobulin to the mother soon after childbirth. These antibodies will destroy the Rh positive RBCs of the fetus which have gained access to maternal circulation. In this way, active antibodies will not be formed by the mother. Treatment Treatment of hemolytic disease of the newborn is replacement of baby's Rh-positive blood with Rh-negative blood exchange transfusion. Clinical Applications of Blood Grouping In Blood Transfusion Before blood transfusion, always cross-matching is done. In preventing hemolytic disease in the newborn due to Rh incompatibility, in paternity disputes, the ABO and RH blood grouping is helpful in settling cases of disputed paternity. 
Antigens A and B are dominant, whereas O is recessive. It is possible to prove that a person could not have been the father, but not that he was or is the father. If the child's blood group is O, whatever the blood group of the mother, a person with blood group AB cannot be the father. If the child's blood group is AB, whatever the blood group of the mother, a person with the blood group O cannot be the father. The predictive value of such test is strengthened further if several blood group systems are considered. DNA fingerprinting can prove or disprove fatherhood with 100% certainty. In medical legal cases, any red stain on clothing may be claimed to be blood by a supposed victim. Therefore, it is first confirmed that it really is blood by preparing hemin crystals from the stain extract. In knowing susceptibility to diseases, the incidence of certain diseases is related to blood groups, that is, individuals with blood group O are said to be more susceptible to duodenal ulcer. Individuals with blood group A are more susceptible to carcinoma of the stomach.